Hello everyone. We have a integral today that it's a product of x square and cosine of three x. And so for this kind of product um, of two different types of functions, we usually integrate it by using integration by parts. And so in this case, we are going to do it um, <clears throat> by using the tabular method. And so we are going to set up the table this way. Okay. So we have the uh, the sine column, the uh, the differentiation column, the integration column, and then also the the side where we use this to keep track of when we should be stopping. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I'm not going to show the in integration by parts formula in this video. I probably will just um, will just uh, mention it as we are writing down the answer, but I'm not going to write it down and spend time to explain how that's related to this table. If you want to see that, then you can actually see the um, uh, the link for the introductory video that I did last time, or you can actually click on the link on the paper. And <clears throat> there was a paper with a lot of details on explaining how that formula is related to this table method and why this table method works. Okay, so we are just going to demonstrate how to solve this problem by using the, ta uh, the table. Okay, so um, first we are going to put a plus sign right here. That's at the beginning. And then we got to choose our u. For the u that we are choosing here, we want to make sure that it's something that it's easy for us to differentiate. And in this case, it would be the x squared because when you differentiate this x squared, two times, then it's going to bring it down to um, to a constant. So first, we are going to put the x square right here in this column. And then what about the integration column? And just for integration by parts, once we have chosen the u, which is the x square in this case, then the rest of the stuff in the integral would be the integration column, the dv. And um, we should also be putting the dx right here, but I'm going to omit that just for uh, the calculation. Okay, so we are going to just put the cosine. Okay, so I got to change the color. So it would be the cosine of 3x right here. And so as you can see here, you can use this column right here to keep track of what's going on with the integration. And if you just write everything across, then it turns out that this is just the original integral, which is the x square, as you can see here. Actually, I'm just going to use the same color for everything for the side. So cosine 3x. And then, of course, the, there was the dx that I omitted in the problem, but, but that's what happens. Okay. Usually, we don't even need to uh, write this down. Now, we start doing the integration by parts. So the next step is that... We are going to get a minus sign here. That will that minus sign comes from the um, integration by parts formula. And for this d column here, we are going to differentiate. So it becomes two x, and then the i becomes. Uh, we are going to integrate that cosine three x. That will give us the sine of three x right here. But then we also need to reverse the chain rule of this 3x right here. So we are going to multiply by the reciprocal of the x, of the coefficient of the x, which is the one third. OK, so now we can actually just write down the new integral that we are getting and see whether we, we can stop or we got to continue. So if we are writing down the integral, then it actually becomes negative 2 over 3. Why do I get 2 over 3 here? Um, you can see that there was a 2, there was a 1 over 3 here, so I put them together. And then there was an x. So now the x must be put inside the integral because that's the variable. So we have x and then sine of 3x dx. Yeah, so um, that's still a product of the polynomial function and then the trick function. So we got to continue so that... Um, we'll stop until the point where we do not have this x anymore. So we got to do it one more time. Okay, so <clears throat> as <clears throat> for this column here, the signs will be alternating. So we are going to get the positive sign right here. And then now let's do the differentiation. The differentiation here would be just the 2. So you differentiate, you get the 2. Now you got to integrate this 1 over 3 sine 3x. If we integrate this sine, we are going to get negative cosine. And uh, we also need to reverse the chain rule. 
here again. So we are going to get negative like one over nine, and then cosine three x. So now, writing down the integral that we are getting, then it would be two times negative one over nine. That will give us negative like two over nine. And then the integral of cosine of three x dx. Oh, well, guess what? We can actually stop here because this is a function that we can integrate directly. And if we are to integrate this function, then we are going to we are just going to get negative like two over nine. And then the antiderivative of cosine three x that would actually be sine of three x right here. And reversing the chain rule, we have to multiply by one over three. And so that that one is good. And we are ready to actually start writing down the answer. So how do we write down the answer? We go back to the original integral. And then we are going to, we need to draw some errors first. So what's going on here is that we are going to just connect the terms right here. Remember the formula is uv minus the integral of v to u. So it, we need to put down the u and the v together. So that's the u, that's the v. So we got to put them together. So we're just drawing some arrows right here just to indicate how we can multiply them. So the first term that we are getting is positive 1 times x squared times 1 over 3 times sine of 3x. So we are having 1 over 3 and then the x squared and then sine of 3x. Okay, so I'm actually cleaning up the expression at the same time as I'm writing this down. So the one over three is the coefficient. So I put it in the front and then I put the x squared and then I put the sine of three x. And then the next one, the next one is the, the second row here, this arrow, and then we'll go down with, this is another UV that we are getting here. So let's look at the signs. We have a minus sign here. We have another minus sign here. So we'll still be getting a positive sign for this turn that we are going to write down. Okay, next, the coefficients. We have the 2, we have the 1 over 9, so we have 2 over 9. And then we are going to get the x and then the cosine 3x, so let's just put that here. So x and then cosine 3x. And then lastly is this result that we are going to get right here. So um, because we already did the integration, we can simply just copy down the result and put it here. And I can clean up the answer at the same time. So it would be minus 2 over 27. Yeah, so minus 2 over 27. And then sine of 3x. And then, of course, we can put the plus c at the end. OK. So that's actually quite simple. And um, we can see the benefit of this um, row integration by parts or the tabular method uh, when this power gets higher so that you don't need to apply, 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 apply. All you need to do is to just keep going down the columns and then, and then you can actually come up with the final answer. OK, so that's for this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and then give me some support. I will continue to make more videos in the future. And um, thank you for watching and see you next time.